Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, in today's video we're going to be uh, talking about OpenPaws, which is a contr uh, control net for SDXL. So it was available for uh, SD 1.5 for a really long time, uh, but for SDXL it was recently released in uh, Xsincere here, uh, the page Hugging Face. Uh, and the model for open pause is right here. We're going to be talking about all these models in the future videos. So make sure to subscribe and we're going to take them one by one. We're going to start with open pause because I think it's the most useful. So uh, according to the uh, comments that I got from the subscribers, and I really, really appreciate the feedback. Uh, they recommended that I record in higher resolution. I was recording in 720p, so thinking that, you know, people just want the workflow. And uh, I'm going to be leaving the workflow in the comments. Uh, but yeah, the images, I mean, to see the resolution of the images and everything, it needs, uh, especially when upscaling. Uh, so I'm, I'm using uh, 1440p, 2K uh, recording now. Because if I use 4K, my computer will probably crash when generating, so... 1440p is the max I can do. So thank you for the feedback and uh, let's start. So the purpose of open pause is that when you generate an image that you like the pause for, like this one, for example, here, a woman standing in a golden field, uh, you know, uh, with her hands uh, wide open like this spread. So we want to generate an image like this pause. So we're concerned with the pause, thus the naming open pause. So what we do is we use load image. This is the node to load an image. We load the image that we want to replicate the pause for. Then we feed the uh, load image into the open pause here, this node. And this node, what it does is that it replic it detects the hands, the uh, body, the face, and you need to pick the resolution. So this is a 1024 for SDXL. And this is the preview of the output of this open pause uh, node. It's just a skeleton with uh, face, hands, arms, and legs. So the pause is replicated here. This image, this one here, that we have the preview for, and we're previewing it. So we take the output of this image and input it into the image of the apply control net. And uh, the model that, that is available here, this one, is going to feed into uh, the control net model, the green uh, input here. And the strength, uh, I put it at 1, sometimes 0 0.7. This just uh, uh, tells the how much is the weight of the control net or the pause, uh, open pause to be applied to the image. And this control net goes between the positive prompt and the K sampler, uh, taking an input, conditioning input from the positive prompt here, this one. And the output goes into the input of the K sampler positive prompt. So it actually works on the textual side uh, of things. And the rest, we have, we have a negative prompt and a latent image and just the usual stuff. And uh, then we just generate. And I'm using a C plus save image to organize my work. So I'm saving uh, the output into videos, open pause. And this is the resulting image that we get. So let's generate and see how things go. And while we generate, I'm going to take this, uh, depict a woman standing in a golden field. And I'm going to just improve it a little. So if we type it into ardeniusai.com for the prompt engineer, it's going to give us a better prompt. So you can see I generated it here first, and then now I'm generating it again. So we get a, a nicer prompt. You just paste it in. And we're going to see the difference between the two. It's not going to change a lot on the pause, but it's probably going to have 
much more details. You can see here, uh, let's see. Imagine a woman standing amidst a vast golden wheat field as the sun begins to descend, casting a warm golden hue uh, over the landscape. As you can see, I mean, it's more artistic and descriptive. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's going to get a better uh, image. So this is the image that we got. As you can see, the pause is almost the same for the woman here, but the surroundings are different. So uh, this, uh, it's normal because uh, the control net only works on the pause. So the pause is almost uh, 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 the same. So let's see the new prompt that we got from uh, ardeniusai.com. Make sure to register and use it. Uh, the link is going to be also in the description below. And make sure to subscribe because we're going to be going over all the uh, uh, control net uh, for SDXL, all the models, different models. And this is the first video. So it takes some time. It also takes some time to generate the uh, images here. Uh, this one, the open pause, generates pretty fast, but uh, uh, in the future videos, you're gonna see like you know depth maps and uh, canny and line art. They they take a little bit of time. So so we have. I think this one looks okay. The hands are a little different, but still the same pause. As you can see, like, you know, the dress is different. So you can see here we have hands almost and the pause is almost the same, but the dress is like, you know, going uh, on the side. So a little bit of difference between them. And uh, this is the summary of how to use open pause. So I hope you like the video and uh, see you in the next one.